this is a, it's a it's a fantastically powerful and moving yeah. documentary that you've done here. Tell me this, what does it mean to you? What do you want the message to be from? Because at the moment, all the papers are running with what they decide they mm -hmm. want the narrative to be. What would you like it to be? Progress, triumph for, for the, pe mm -hmm. the people who are involved. Um, especially, you, you, people haven't heard... I've done a bit on the radio yesterday. People haven't even heard of Paul Cannaville. Paul Cannaville's story is amazing. Mm. You know, when he made his debut, you've got somebody who's, who's desperate to be a professional footballer. And, yes, you're going to get a bit of stick, but not from your own fans. Who was your hero? Still Regis. Mm. Obviously, I loved Kevin Keegan as well, because Kevin Keegan was small and people said, you're not going to make because you're so small, but Kevin Keegan was there and he made it. So he was one of my heroes, but Cyril Regis was the one. And I remember the game, the 5-3 game, 1978, when Cyril, Brendan and Laurie Cunningham played. And to, not, to, to people, to, to white people, that game was just another game where mm -hmm. the team won five, like... West Brom beat Man United 5-3, but as a young black man, that game was unbelievable. Everybody will remember it because we actually then saw two brilliant black players um, doing unbelievable stuff, and all of a sudden the dream became reality for people. It's obviously very different today mm. for a black footballer to play, but it's not, it's not unheard of that racism still creeps out and shows its ugly face. Mm -hmm. How far do you think we've come and how much further should we be aiming I to go? Piers, the thing is, when you, when you watch this, it's going to be very raw and when, it's going to make some people will cringe um, with some of the stuff that's in it, but this, I think, is a celebration of how far mm. Mm. it has come. Mm. And people have got to see it, actually, as progress. Of course, we've still got a long way to go. People saying to me, yeah, but when's the last time you experienced racism? It's not purely mm. about experienced yeah. racism. There's still racism and undertones of it going on, but this is a celebration. What, so. what I think is nice is you can watch England play now and skin colour is completely irrelevant. Yeah. You can watch Raheem Sterling be brilliant. Do you not feel we're getting there? Of course we are. Of course we're getting there. And I think that programmes like this, you know, with Gabriel Clark and the people that know mm -hmm. it, and, you know, they, they, it, the, the research and everything that's going on into it, of course, that's where you want to be. That's the, that's the end goal. Whether that will happen or not in our lifetime is something mm -hmm. that, um, that remains to be seen. But the fact is we are very much on the road to it. And, these, and shows like this is going to make people and prick people's conscience mm. a little bit to make them realise what we've been through and where we are now. It's, it's fantastic. Can I talk about what you uh, have experienced and how important it was when you got spotted by a palace scout? And Peter Prentice. And you went for trial. Yeah. And well, you started your professional career. <laughs> I couldn't afford to give the job up. So I turned Palace down three times before I actually said yes to the trial. And then the, my, my, my boss at the time, Gary Twyde... What was the job you were doing at I was, the I was a very poor labourer. <laughs> very poor labourer. <laughs> bad bricklayer, bad plasterer. And he and just said, I'll give you the time. I'll give you the opportunity to go and take the trial. Your boss made you go yeah. to the trial. And look, you mucked around at Palace for a bit, but then came the big moment when you got the big 117 the big dogs, goals by the road. And you came to a proper London team... And you became an Arsenal legend, winning the Premier League. Winning the Premier League, winning the FA Cup, doing the double, simply because, you know, Palace was amazing for me and gave me the opportunity... But never won another thing. But we nearly <laughs> did. If we, if, we beat, if we beat Man United in that Cup final, it probably would have been my greatest moment yeah. from where I came from. But the fact is, is that they gave me that platform to get uh, to Arsenal and, 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 you know, then... You know, to lift the Premier League is what I left Arsenal um, mm. Palace for, to win things, and that was the only thing... Oh, don't say that. You know that. what I mean? <laughs> we, finally, win we, the have, we finally have a new manager. He, you, you feel like he's a manager that is, is doing his thing, mm. and he's going to do it how he wants to do it, and, you know, even the fact that he's not afraid to drop certain players and play how he wants, it's a good sign for Arsenal with everything that was going on, especially the last five, six years. Yeah. It's good to see a manager who's not afraid to make decisions. Mm. Right, so it's good to see you, mate. <laughs> Thank you Because you, uh, you, well... We don't often get guests where both of us go slightly weak at the knees. Wow. And we're in the presence of greatness here. I know. And you are always <laughs> welcome <laughs> at our desk. Thank you so much. In fact, you can just stay here permanently. <laughs> Literally, just, just move in. Just sit here and just be just here. hang out with us all the time. It's great to see you. The documentary, Out of Their Skin, it's a t tremendous it watch. ITV4 tonight and tomorrow night at 10pm. If you really want to understand the journey that black footballers in this country have had to go on yeah. and what they used to endure and what some still endure in certain ways, watch this documentary. It's not an easy watch, and it shouldn't be. Uh, it's an amazing story, though, and it's one that is actually, as rightly said, full of hope and inspiration. Celebration. Which is... And it's a celebration, actually, isn't it? More Absolutely. than anything else. Absolutely. And that's the message that you will get from it. But please watch it, because it's an important piece of work.